Hi, my name is Chris Dobbs. I'm going to be on the online prosperity show. And me and Prosper talked about my platform, Rightful, which is a legal marketplace for lawyers, barristers, solicitors, and clients. I hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the Online Prosperity Show, where we bring you the latest insights and innovations in the world of online business and entrepreneurship. My name is Prosper, and I'm your host today. And today, we have a very special guest joining us. Joining us is Chris Dobbs, who is a barrister and the founder of Rightful, a revolutionary platform where legal projects come together. And Chris is here to share his expertise and also, let us know how Rightful is transforming the legal industry for the 21st century. Now, welcome, Chris. Thanks very much. Prosper, happy to be here. Fantastic. Now, you reached out the other day and I saw that you are on the crust of creating something remarkable. You've created a marketplace where lawyers and the rest of the public can collaborate on um, legal projects. Now, tell us a little bit more about Rightful and how it is going to be changing the way legal projects are managed. Well, as you know, the world is going digital and we're seeing uh, new and exciting technologies uh, come on the market every day. And uh, lawyers need to change as well. Uh, it's no secret that we're uh, expensive. Uh, we're not digital first in the way that we provide our services. And I think most people are looking for that. Uh, they want more transparency over their um, uh, their legal costs. They want to have a, an online experience, and that's what we're hoping to provide. Fantastic. And I think you're coming in at a time when things are sort of going topsy-turvy, either uh, people losing their homes with the rate rises and conveyance issues. And so there is going to be a need for some sort of legal uh, correspondence. And people are afraid to just pick up the phone and call a lawyer because you guys charge in six minute increments. And I'm hoping by the end of this show, I'm not going to receive a letter in the mail that is demanding <laughs> some sort of an invoice for the time that we've spent. But I want to know, you know, yes, things are going in the way that they're going. Digital is, um, you know, how we're showing up in the world right now. But what actually inspired you to create Rightful and really reimagine the legal practice uh, for the modern era? Well, um, I love being a lawyer, but the practice of law sucks. Um, I was a lawyer for uh, 13 years before I came to the New South Wales Bar, and um, I, I tried it all. I tried government, uh, in-house, private practice, and I just would consistently be frustrated with uh, the way things were done, and it made it, it, it wasn't um, great for uh, the clients and it wasn't great for the lawyers. Um, and I, I, I had the privilege of working on uh, a lot of digital projects, uh, particularly when I was at the ASX, and I saw the potential for technology to revolutionise the way that we work. And I just thought that um, now is the perfect time to create that for um, for the world. So that's what I did. Um, you know, just to join a, a, a traditional chambers for me, I, I've got to mortgage my house. Um, and I've got to um, pay, you know, 5K a month in floor fees, and then I have to pass those on to the customer. So that's where a lot of our costs come from. It just doesn't make any sense. I think everyone's going digital, and I don't see why lawyers can't as well. Fantastic. And obviously, that's a personal experience for you. But do you think that sentiment is shared by other lawyers across the board? Oh, absolutely. I, I absolutely do think that it is shared. There's a thing called the new law, law movement which is a, is a movement uh, in legal cir uh, circles to change the way we we practice. And it's, um, it's, it's very strong. It's led by a guy called uh, Professor Suskind uh, and others. Uh, there's many uh, uh, law firms that are uh, what we call new law firms that are coming. So, yeah, there, it is shared by a lot of people. There's a, a Facebook group uh, called New Law uh, on uh, Facebook with something close to uh, 1,500 members. So... Um, a lot of people share that sentiment, and I think that we're, we're, especially with AI coming on the market, we're starting to see some real change. Fantastic. I'm, I'm interested to know all about these uh, developments, but obviously you have now come up with a product and it's already on the marketplace, and congratulations on that. Now, 
Walk us through, how does Rightful sort of help clients in finding the right legal team and ensuring that there's a successful outcome in their projects? So uh, we, we have a marketplace, first of all. So you can you can search um, based on the type of lawyer that you want. Uh, so if you want someone who's an expert in space law, for example, and you can search based on their uh, how much you want to spend and their location, uh, you can read their profiles. Um, and then set up a booking with them. Uh, after that, uh, you can uh, create a, a legal project or they can create a legal project and you can collaborate together. Um, and we have a digital wallet, which will be rolled out hopefully soon in which payments can be uh, affected as well. Um, and lots of other features, which will take ages to explain. <laughs> I get Sometimes I get too into the detail with all the features when you've spent so long building it. Um, but essentially all the features that we've built um, are designed to make the process more seamless, uh, to make the process more transparent, uh, and hopefully to reduce the costs. Fantastic. And I'm, I'm interested in knowing all about the, you know, the digital escrow that you say you're going to be creating across the board, which just makes it seamless, um, you know, for, for people to make those payments. What was the what was the process like before you came up with this marketplace? What would have somebody have to go through, um, you know, to engage a lawyer up until they actually had an, a, a good outcome? Um, well, the process was very paper-based, uh, you, you know, um, and very uh, in-person. So typically, um, you, you know, you need to see a lawyer, you need to sign a, a, a um, you may not be, get the right lawyer that you want. So it's all word of mouth, for example, you might, you, you're talking, asking for someone who meets a certain criteria, it might not meet that criteria. But once you meet them, you need to sign in person for every document, uh, the agreement, uh, any affidavits or any other documents you sign, um, put money in trust, uh, instead of in escrow so that everyone is transparent on the, the amount of money that's there and any people that are added to the project, so like a barrister or a paralegal or anything, we can all see the same amount of money sitting there. The client can see the money sitting there. It's, it's very transparent. Um, there's no uh, transparency over um, how the costs are calculated really. Um, so, you know, with our case charting tool, you can get a sense of the overall process from start to finish um, and and how much um, each element of it will cost and any uncertainties or contingencies. Um, you know, you can read any resources so that, that you can, um, you know, self-help uh, if you want to do some of the process yourself. Um, and just, yeah, generally it wasn't very seamless uh, and, and it, 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 you, you felt out of control. Um, you felt sort of like... Um, sometimes it can be a bit paternalistic where the professional is speaking down to you and you don't really uh, have any sense of what's going on. Um, but hopefully with this process that we're, we're, we've developed, um, it will be a lot more seamless. Fantastic. Obviously, if you're going to be making people's lives better, that would just really remove a lot of the bottlenecks that would have been happening in the legal system. Because usually with the legal system, anyone who's got the loudest voice or the biggest, deepest pockets usually walked away and uh, justice might not have been served in, 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 in many respects just because people just didn't have the money to be pursuing um, lawyers or the know-how of what actually needs to happen in order for them to get that justice there. Now, with what you're saying, this looks like there's going to be a lot of cloud-based, uh, you know, activity where people log into some uh, platform and search for that rightful lawyer who meets the criteria that they're looking at. And obviously with the way technology has sort of expanded, even our accountants are already working in the cloud. So it is now a known sort of phenomenon. And I'm just looking outside wondering which cloud has got all my data, but that's obviously not the case with what you guys, how do you then ensure, um, you know, that with information being publicly available like that, the security and confidentiality of, um, you know, a client or any information that they might be putting in there? Well, it's not publicly available, so it, it's private. So you create, you work on a legal project together, but we're, we're document framework agnostic in the sense that uh, 
you, you know, everyone has their preferred uh, document framework. Some people use Dropbox, some people use um, Google Drive or, or um, eBrief or even Proton. And all of these have different uh, data uh, settings. So Proton, for example, is the highest level of security. Um, and so what we do is we allow users the ability to share uh, based on the, their preferred framework. So they can manage um, their security in Rightful, but they can also manage it in those frameworks themselves. Um, and, and in that way, we're not forcing people to adopt a particular type of framework. We're also uh, working towards uh, ISO 27001 compliance. Uh, so we comply with that already. We just, um, as far as I'm aware, I mean, generally speaking, I think we comply. We just need to get a, an auditing uh, certificate on that. Um, and that's generally what most uh, um, uh, startups work towards uh, in terms of data security. We're very data conscious, um, you know, making sure we have encryption at various points. But the, the, the key thing is that you don't need to manage your data uh, in the platform if you don't want to. You can have a reference to the data without actually managing it in the platform. Fantastic. And thank you so much for uh, letting us know about that because trust is one of those pivotal things, especially with the wake of, you know, all the other cyber attacks that have been happening with larger corporations, um, you know, in the press lately. Now, with this whole thing, this is more of a disruptive type of tool and you have said yes there's a new sort of legal frontier out there that is um excited about technology and everything else but the legal industry is a legacy industry how has the whole industry as a whole responded to your particular platform uh rightful so far and have you sort of maybe encountered any challenges or resistance to this new way of practicing law uh I, I've not heard that term before, a legacy industry. That's interesting. Um, what does a legacy industry mean? A legacy industry is an industry that has been there before before time. Forever. Yeah, forever. Yeah, I suppose know. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, we're known, I think lawyers are known as um, you know, typically we're we're the, the, the last people to change. We hate change and we never will change. And and um I, I think uh I mean, the reality is we have to change. Um, uh, the law isn't about change. The law is about stability. And and so that's that's sort of inbred into the way that we practice. But, um, you know, I, I, I think um, change is inevitable. So, yeah, some some people, um, it's, for, it's not for them. Uh, some lawyers, it's not for them because they like a certain way of practice. But for, from what I, my position where I've seen, there's so many people that, want to um, change that you know we're finding them like crazy so they're the people that we we, we we're we happy to onboard as quickly as possible <laughs> <laughs> fantastic you want to just get on with the people that are with us yeah. and the people that are going to be spearheading this revolution now now um you know our audience comprises of your um you know legal side and also uh, some customers that might be looking for um you know that legal aid on that marketplace what would be the best way that people can uh jump onto your platform uh well sign up uh, make make a profile. Um, be part of our Slack community. Um, we will. Um, we'll, we're, 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 our customer service is going to come online very shortly. Like we'll have an intercom thing, so you can reach out directly on 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 our intercom um, and talk to us about whatever you need, um, and just play around and give us feedback. And we're still in beta at the moment, um, but we'll hopefully get on off beta shortly in, in the next few weeks. So it's it's really a time to just play around and 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 be part of our community, uh, our growing community and let us know of any features or anything you'd like to see um, and what how you see it, it helping you and the value you see um, it providing you, whether you're a lawyer or a client. Fantastic. Now, obviously you have expressed, um, you know, your story of how you started and how you just didn't find yourself fitting in the whole system and how it operates. And you then uh, pioneered this uh, platform so that you could actually disrupt the way law is being done. So what, what sort of advice would you maybe give to an aspiring legal professional 
um, who are also looking to maybe start embracing technology and innovation uh, in their careers? Yeah, so I think it's important to understand what your goals are right from the start um, because some people, you know, may may just want to implement technology in their practice. They don't want to, you know, create a product like what we have. Um, they, they may just want to sort of be more efficient. And and um, I think that's a noble goal to have. If your goal is to build a product, that's that's a whole other story because um, – it's 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 not easy to build a product. So if if that's you, then come and talk to me directly, and I'll be honest about the challenges. But if you're just looking to implement um, legal uh, technology in your practice, there's so many great resources out there on on even some you know basic uh, things to quickly add that will instantly add value. Um, I, I, I mean, um, I, I'm happy to uh, post them. Um, you know, there's so many that I read every, like literally every day. Um, you know, people on lawyers on LinkedIn uh, that they're, they're posting re, uh, how-to guides on on um, how to benefit your firm uh, and how to get sort of basic things in there. Uh, I highly recommend them. Uh, I can't think of any names right now of resources for some reason, but I, I read a lot of them myself, um, and. That it, it's 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 worthwhile, absolutely. So I, I definitely think that um, uh, you know, implementing some technology in your practice is a really good way to go. Fantastic. Well, Chris, we've caught you right at the onset of something that's going to be revolutionary, especially in the legal front. Now, that's very we, kind. We want to be excited about the movement that you're creating and your future plans. What should we expect from Rightful and what, what sort of, um, you know, expansion or enhancement plans do you have in the pipeline so people can get excited to jump on board and start working with you immediately? Yeah, so we're, 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 we want to really um, massively expand our legal talent um, so that people have lots of choices. Uh, right now we've got 150 users, but we want to grow that to like more like a thousand uh, uh, solicitors, barristers, paralegals. Um, so that's what we're focusing on. Um, so yeah, if if you fall into that category, please reach out and we'll we'll get you started and we'll get you working on legal projects. Um, and if you're a client as well and you'd like a better way to uh, work on legal projects, then jump on board as well and we'll. We'd love to hear from you and we'd love to understand uh, what your needs are and any frustrations you have so that we can continue to work that into the product uh, development suite. So, um, yeah, we, we aim to grow uh, our marketplace substantially, hopefully this, this year, um, and come out of beta, obviously, as we finish our user testing. And it's a perfect time to reach out to us um, to learn more. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Chris, for the time that you have spent sharing your valuable insights and shedding light on the exciting developments that you're uh, doing there at Rightful. Oh, well, thank you. The pleasure has been all mine. Fantastic. Well, there you have it. It's quite clear that Rightful is actually paving the way for more efficient and client-centric legal practice, especially in the digital age. Now, to learn more about Rightful and how you can benefit your legal projects, be sure to visit their website. I'm going to be putting the information in the show notes there. And make sure that when you sign up, um, you know, you let them know that you've come from the Online Prosperity Show. And that about wraps up our day's um, episode of the Online Prosperity Show. Stay tuned for more inspiring conversations like this with innovative ideas to help you prosper, especially in the online world. It's been Prosper. And until next time, please help me um, thank Chris for the time that he spent with us on the show today. I want you to keep thriving and keep prospering. Bye for now.